Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Route One FM, and of course, first of all, I would like you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Now today's a bit differently, as you can see, I'm a static face due to problems with camera. So we're going to go into it. We're going to see how I'm doing here at Inter Miami. Now here we are. We're actually in the last game of the season, which we will see in tonight's video. But since the cup final, it's not been too bad, actually. We lie fourth in the league. Let's get the league table up. So we lie fourth in the league after 33 games. We've secured a playoff position. Orlando, Cincinnati and Philadelphia Union are ahead of us. But three points here. Results go in my favour could be all different um let's get into actually the action to see so open cup final we've had which was a nice little 3-1 victory there against lafc now we're going to go and have a look at the game against philadelphia we see the action here they curl in a free kick they go one nil up which was not according to pan, but Marcelino there securing a penalty to save our blushes. We got a 1 1 draw out of that. Not a great team performance there. Perez, probably our outstanding player. But we move on. And our next game against Columbus Crew was going to be an interesting one. You can see in this action. Columbus Crew, who we're playing in the last game of the season, tried to get a cross in, but look at that, just deflected back to his foot, and he puts it straight in the net from a good 20 yards. But Pires to Neville. Neville, long ball forward, and there's Martinez. Martinez, a one touch, and look at that, puts it in the far corner. What a strike. Pellegrini then getting to the bar line it comes out to Marcelino Marcelino a little crossing Martinez all the time in the world he's able to turn no one marking him and he puts it in that's his second of the game again he was our standout player what more could you ask for obviously there was a few offside goals there the game against Atalanta there's no point in watching it because it finished nil-nil but we then played Vancouver, and that was going to be an interesting game. It's kept us unbeaten since the cup final, but again, a 1-1 draw. It's not brilliant, but it will do. Let's see the goals from this action. And now, as you can see, we're on the attack. Morgan out to Gregory Arthur to Martinez. Martinez with a shot and a left foot of drive. Puts us 1-0 up against Vancouver Whitecaps. Which was going brilliantly. Until this. The drove through. Through two defenders. Bringing out McKenzie. And a lovely drive. And it just could not get it cleared. And they equalised. So a 1-1 draw. Hence why, that's why we sit fourth in the league. Now in other news. And this is where it gets interesting as well. We have just signed, let's get the profile up, a new contract, which has taken us to 2026 if we wanted. 30 grand a week. They have finally put it on the table. Kept me on after 134 games. I'm still at Inter Miami. 87 games won, 18 drawn, lost 29, a win percentage of 64%, which is cracking. Now, of course, with that comes dreams, movements, and everything. Now, if we go to this, we are planning to expand the stadium and improve the training facilities now, which is really good. So that's good news. Uh, we go up, expand the stadium, I think to about 30,000 from 25, and obviously improving the training facilities, which will be a start. 
obviously current season they're disappointed in the MLS challenge um challenge for the MLS support the shield their plays and obviously the final or the reach the semi final of the competition I've passed. So it's good. In other respects as well as we can get on to the staffing side of things you could see we've got Robbie Keane there as a senior assistant manager you uh, see like a line yes the line and we're brought in Jordan Santiago Santiago as a goalkeeper coach he looks brilliant actually so he will help us out so a bit span Canadian Spanish but also we've got Freddie Lundberg in there as a coach Richie Williams obviously he's an American one uh, who else have we got there he is we've got Guti Spanish international Real Madrid star Guti now in as coach so hopefully he'll give us some ex experience now for the club um, so yeah, we're moving in the right direction in a way. Was uh, so I'm now starting to bring in a little bit of my staff members in. We can. Where's the? Uh, there we go. So player stats. So goals. Where is it? overall? No, that's not what we wanted. Robbie Robinson is our top goal scorer with 18. Perez leads our highest average at 7.21. And Lewis Morgan, 13 assists. So, not doing too bad as well. George and Jack Wiltshire is our bad boys with one red card each. So, finance-wise, we ain't doing too bad. 19 million in there. Transfer-wise, now before we get into the uh, last game of the season, we have bought a defensive midfielder, Duro Avion. Avila, gonna butcher his name. He looks good, three and a half star. It's current potential. So he's he's a Congo front, Congo international. Hopefully free up at helping the midfield. Stats look good, basically. So um, he's joining me first of the first twenty four, twenty four, and we've also got. Robbie Gotts coming in. I've had him obviously in previous days. He can play a lot of different positions. So he's coming in as well in the uh, on the 1st of January from Leeds. Ain't too bad. And also we've put a club offer in for Mark Bowen, who is a really good assistant manager. So we're uh, hopefully going to be making waves now. But let's get into the last game of the season and see how we get on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you're here at Freedom Park. The team sheets are in. We've gone with Jado and Goal, Figo, Perez, McKenzie, Marcelino at the back. Gregory Arthur as our midfield with Federico Martinez, Jack Wilshire, Pellegrini in the mid in the attacking line with Robbie Robinson starting up front. Obviously, notable names in Columbus Crew is Jonathan Mentor. So, probably a, the only player that I actually recognise, but we're doing quite well. So, let's get into the team talk. Let's point fingers. We're favourites for a reason. Let's go out there and show them. We've got a fantastic record. Let's give a bit of positivity. We are going into the action. That is how we're lining up. What more can you ask for? Let's bring me actually back. We'll move me. There, that is the league. Cincinnati went up to 63 points. We think they have won it. But this is Freedom Park. Last game of the regular season. Let's see how Inter Miami does this time against Columbus Crew. Last time, remember, we won 2-1. We're going to encourage the team to start off with. 
get things going and wait for this first highlight like i said please like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment tell me how you think we're going to do in the playoffs that is the question even if you want to leave a comment and tell me how you eat your pizza with your hands or knife and fork that's a debate what we've been having at work but we're waiting for our first highlight and it's not happening it's still a nil nil at the moment after 19 minutes it's we want to demand more on this one now we can't finish this game as like another draw yes okay we're three games unbeaten but it's a winning we've got to go in with a win that's the main thing that's what we want that's what these fans want this where are the fans there's the fans we got the fans out come on into miami here we go we got a highlight and it's a throw and this with wiltshire wiltshire putting it across to gregory gregory into arthur arthur looking for someone to distribute the ball to arthur he's gone a long way on his own on he's crosses it He's looking for someone, but Gregory's picked up with we a nice little lob. That's off the inside of the bar and back out. That was unlucky. He lobbed that from a hell of a red area. He shouldn't have really got his shot away there, let's be honest. Corner comes in. It's headed out. And Jack Wiltshire is going to pick this up. Wiltshire. He's literally driving for a position. Back into up, up a little dink. George, and it's come to nothing. We have a throw in. Wilshire. Back to Marcelino, who looks for Arthur. Arthur to Wilshire. Wiltshire, little clip, looking for someone, but it's been cleared out. I think it was looking for Martinez, but Perez, Perez, our club captain. Figgle, strikes it across, looking for Barcelona. He does win that. Can he, has he got the momentum to carry on? Comes back to Arthur. The two Brazilians playing it to each other. Will Wiltshire getting in there? Wiltshire, Pellegrini, there it is. It's 1-0. It's 1-0. Mateus Pellegrini sticks it in the roof of the neck with his left foot. Fans are happy there. That's what we want. The Inter-Miami fans can't argue at the commitment that that player is putting in Pellegrini. Just look at that. Into Wilshire. Wilshire, first time ball. And he's let it run through his leg so he can swing his left foot at it. So that is 1-0. It still hasn't really changed the position we're in. It looks like we're going to finish fourth. But we are 1-0 up. Oh, no, we've moved up to third. That's interesting. That puts us in a position where it could be... Uh, could get an easier game. That's what we'd like to, like to hear in this next round, obviously, in the playoffs. But 1-0 up is a good good place to be so that's half time one nil columbus crew not many scares there for them so they've not really had a shot on target i'm know that the club's capable team's capable of more got an idea on what subs i'm going to put on in the second half we'll probably see the likes of lewis morgan we'll probably see mccleany come on so We've got options there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The full-time whistle has gone. Pellegrini's goal secured us the win. Obviously, changes were made. McKinney come on, so did Morgan. But we had 17 shots on goal, 6 on target, which was not a good ratio, but XG of just over 1. They had 4 shots, 2 on target. We had 18 corners and we could not get any more goals than just the one. The fans seemed happy. We finished on in third. 
you can't argue at that for a season which we started down the bottom with the likes of Ronaldo obviously leaving us for Manchester United it's a good good result so you see us oh no in the supporter shield we're fifth so we need to see where we are in the actual conference side of things let's have a look at the competitions just to see there so we get to play chicago fire in the next round so so fifth in the support shield that's a shame so we won the cup so now we've just got the mls playoffs to deal with guys thanks for watching my name's route one fm and if you like the video please give it a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment we've just finished the mls season and we've got the playoffs to do and no matter what you call it football soccer football just remember it's for the love of the game and i will catch you next time